Hey there, everyone! This is Alcow playing The Legend of Zelda. That's what happens when you blow the flute! A tornado comes over and brings you to Warp Zone, or the exact same place you were just at. <laughs> no, it's supposed to cycle through the dungeons you have entered, right? See, that brings us back to four. We were at five, then it should go to three. Etc. Etc. I believe there's a way to like more precisely like select where each dungeon that I don't I don't remember if it's that you've entered or completed. But uh, yeah, um, I I don't know if there is like a way to know specific. Like, no, no, I I there is a way, but every attempt at learning it has ended in failure, I feel like. I just do not remember. It just does not stay in my head. Uh, so I feel like today is the last day that we're going to get, like, meaningful outside things. Man, you are fast. There's basically two things to do, and, um, one of them I'm going back. Like, you know, I have... Normally, I try... I'm very careful about what I read in the comment, but due to the nature of this game, I'm just kind of absorbing everything. It feels fantastic. But yeah, when I was on the coast and I was like, uh, wondering if, like, like, I know there are openings, but I reckon they're all old men and angry at their doors. Uh, one of them, that's not the case, and it's something I extremely want. By the way, remember that bracelet I found? Whoa! And that is a travel point. Uh, there are four sets of stairs like this across the map where you go into them and it leads you to another one of them, basically. Uh, yeah! That's the purpose of the bracelet, basically. It's the key to accessing the transport gates. Wowie zowie. I mean, it's a big deal. It's pretty good. It's just that, you know, I just kind of have a row that doesn't really depend on it. That could change. Anyways, let's blow up a hole here where an old man's going like, Whoa, what, what a free drink, uh huh? Hey, I bet you all know you took my heart. I disappeared. He also would have disappeared had I took uh, the drink. That's just how it'd be. We're going somewhere! Alright, so if I play this game well, we won't need money again for a little bit, so I should just restock on juice! Alright, so here's- is there anything below here? What- what is here? Oh yeah, it's this part. Wow! Trees. Never thought I'd see the day that I'd see a tree. Whoa! Hey, alright. Well, this is a big old crossroad. We haven't been in this screen before, I'm pretty sure, in this run, so... Uh, it's just like, destroy all the moblins like normal. You know, it's just a normal screen. Oh my gosh, we're back on a mountain! Check it out, you go in a direction and you can't escape. Whatever is happening here, it's the famous Lost Woods. I know the pattern. Left, uh, it's a uh, north, uh, northwest, southwest. You go east if you want to escape the cycle. The game tells you this somewhere, but I don't remember where. Like I wish that, um. I could have seen where the game tells you that, so that it wouldn't just be me randomly just doing it. But I genuinely do not remember where the game teaches you this. It's, uh, somewhere it happens. Wow, you do a lot of damage. Remember that I have double defense right now. You know, just keep that in mind. Hey, fairy, 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 fairy on a mountain. There might be a bombable around here somewhere. Well, I do have, like, a lot of bombs. As well use them just in case I might be wrong I guess I'm wrong I didn't try here I was wrong all right welcome to Hyrule Cemetery 
home of the ghost. You can stab him in the face all day, and he has a great time. And if you touch the graves, there's ghosts. Look at that. You can't stab those ghosts. Uh, unbelievable. What a gimmick. What a powerful creature. But check out this trick. You can just wake up the whole family, and then you're like, hey, ghost. I'm gonna stab you, okay? You know, because your family's here and it's annoying to me. And then everyone dies, and that is how most people would tell me, or would tell you, is how you should be handling uh, farming for anything. I'm kind of doing this- wait a second, that one didn't summon a ghost. Weird. Uh, really? Alright, let's get the money money here. I'm going to try to push this grave. But it doesn't activate a ghost though. Alright, it's just that grave doesn't work. No one is buried here. What a mis- don't touch him from the bottom. See, like that guy too. This grave too, you touch it and no ghosts are coming out. It's pretty wild, but I bet that's also just a weirdness. By which I mean, an old man lives underneath his grave, and he has a diagonal sword. If I master using it, and I can have this. So there you go, strongest sword. It is 12 hearts you need, which means I could have gotten it um, after, well, before doing Castle 5, strictly speaking. But I didn't. I didn't get that because it wasn't on my way. There you go, look at that. Three slices and the ghost is gone. I didn't get it because it wasn't in my way. Like, I kinda had, like, a route in mind. And that was just too big of a detour. It's just like, I was like, no, it's, that just doesn't work for me. I don't know. And, uh, by the way, uh, here's Castle 6. <laughs> Whoa! Double entrance, double side! It's Castle 6! Wow! It's very drab colored. And it's dark sometimes. Uh, welcome to the wonderful world of wizards. Uh, this is probably one of the harder uh, dungeons, like, no exaggeration. I mean, these guys are fine. Orange wizards are great at parties, and just kind of in general. They appear, disappear, they throw a little beam. Ah, it's just such a joy to explore and gallivant around. I think the big shield protects against their magic. I'm actually not super sure. Alright, I guess I'm making decisions here. Whoa, okay, you were the linchpin wizard. Alright, destroy this one and they all get destroyed. That's a great amount of time. Taking a path, watch out, it's a blobbo! They're just kinda sitting there wobbling. Yeah! We gotta go to the other edge of the map! That makes sense. Alright, here's bats. I don't know, man. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna worry about it so much. You can't stop my worrying, alright? Go oh, check it out. Hey, key. I could go back and go into the key at the start, but I don't know. Like, I'm exploring, alright? Whoa, check it out. It's a trap room. Just go up! Trap rooms will fall and try to squish you! Whoa, boy. Okay, uh, this is a serious room. Things got real serious suddenly. Oh yeah, the blue wizards, they, they don't teleport around. They just kinda, you know, they do their own thing. They walk around more. I'm pretty sure they are, okay, so I can deflect their magic. So that's, I'm pretty sure they're impervious to the wonders of the boomerang. Three slices on a stack of pancake. And uh, yeah, they're really tough. I don't know why they're so tough. Just the hardiest enemy, but you know, also, like, what are they? Do they have any form of meaningful biology to them? Like, that would explain why they're so tough, and whoa, okay, we, we just did a thing there, I pushed the block down, and it was funny. <laughs> Wizards, they're all here, making a mess. Wizards, we don't like them, you are a pest. Wow, that was a lot of damage I took, and I feel like I didn't have to take, but here's five buckaroos! You did it, Bimmy! You earned money! Have a dragon. Yeah, it's just, yeah, no, I'm just gonna re-bring the dragon home. I got a lot of my more health than I used to have, and uh, I have more damage output than I used to have, and so I just kind of did that the ugliest way possible, 
just a complete mess. Really ugly, just kind of embarrassing, honestly. Yeah, don't mess around with the like like is there anyone watching here who don't know what is like likes deal? Like it's possible. Like I've been, you know, playing with the assumption that someone might not know what's happening. Check it out, it's the gargoyle! I don't know how to define this map, but what I can tell you is that you should probably return to the start. <laughs> I don't know what this is. What is this portraying? <sighs> More wizards. That's what it's portraying. These wizards are looking backward. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Lots of wizards here. Just kind of hanging around. Yeah! That was the empty room! Just kind of hanging around. Yeah! Alright, well now that I see the map, I feel a strong urge to go back and look at things that I didn't go to. So I'm going to do that now. Welcome to the world of doom. Uh, living on a little island. I mean, they can just traverse all they want. They can fly the wizards. So yeah, three slice for the blue guys. One, two, ugh. Yeah. And, you know, if you're a young child, you might not necessarily have found the Oblique Sword, because, again, I, I think that if you don't get any of the extra hearts, I don't know if you can still afford it? I mean, it'd be easy math to do, but yeah, you can actually like, kill these bears now. Vampire bears? Uh, vampires beware, is what I've never said. Probably said it, maybe. Why are you giving me so much bombs? That's weird. Stop being weird. <sighs> Wizards and pancakes together at last. We're not very happy. Please go away. Yeah, uh, okay, so. Yeah. Whoa! Well, you just made this free for me. Thank you. I. Uh, then you give me a fairy? Jeez, okay. It's like the game was like, yeah, no, this room is kind of wild. Why don't you just kind of. But Sykes, prank! It's just a prank, buddy. Here you go. Enjoy yourself. Uh, and up and up, a road to madness! Uh, oh, this is a teleport. Oh, okay, it's not a treasure. This is not the treasure room. I don't know where I'm... Oh, this is where you need to go to finish the level, it looks like. I can... Oh, I, I was touched by a bubble and that lost me the ability to sword. Yeah, see, they always put... I swear they always do it. Put pancakes and bubbles together. Which is just the worst. Okay, don't need any violence. Press wrong button somehow. Um, well, I'm hearing breathing. I guess I'll... Look, I took the time to get here. You got this guy. Look at that, you get free bomb. And then you can blast in the face by a plasma bubble. It's pretty good. It's the best, you could argue. Uh, welcome to Wizards and Traps. Together at last. We just met. Oh, oh, oh. Oh boy. Yeah, these, these just, they just, they just destroy, man. Heartless, completely, completely vile beings. There's a boss up north, but what's down here? More wizard. It's a wizard locker room. Like you're locked in. It's like the, oh boy. Yes, I'll take that. Oh, this is the w weird room, huh? Hey. I stabbed you in the face. You give me a lot of bombs, though. I'll tell you that. Uh, I agree. Lots of bombs here. Then, yeah, it's this room. That's the room I meant when I said the weird room. Everyone knew exactly what I meant forever. So you kind of want to do that. What? What is the boss here? Oh, you! Hey, have you bought, like, an arrow? Uh, welcome to the Crab Lord party. He's a crab lord. He has a single eye. It's like a big demo. And apparently I'm not hitting him well enough, so that's pretty good. He just kind of moves around, and then you shoot him once with one arrow, and he dies! Good job! You did it, boss! <laughs> but I didn't get the treasure. Uh, that's the only part I'm missing, really. Uh, we're just gonna go right back in, I guess. A little awkward, but, uh, yeah, so... It's basically an arrow check. I'm pretty sure there's a hint somewhere, and it's like, hey, video game. That's, that's always what I think about when I think of hints. Ah, but see, well, you know what, it's fine. 
wizard gets lasered. Oh man, what a day! Wizard gets lizards. Oh, that's pretty lucky. All right, so what was up here that I could have had access at the start of the level? A hint, aim at the eyes of Goma. Well, there you go. That's how you beat the boss, by the way. Costs you a key to know. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll go back to the top half and, um, yeah, do top half things. All right, <laughs> keep pressing select for map. I don't know why. But yeah, we're kind of at the split-off point. Close. Close to. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh... Alright. So, where did I go here? Uh, I went there, and then I need to go into either directions. But I also haven't went here, where a door is clearly closed. More wizards? Wow. Unbelievable. Never thought I'd see the day. Alright, thank you for the hearts. I mean, you guys, like, remove a lot of hearts. That's fine. I think their touch does more damage than their laser, actually. It's kind of funny. Is it? It's not funny at all. There's nothing humorous about that. You just say words sometimes. I think this is where the treasure is, actually. Yeah! Check it out! It's a magical staff! Whoa! I'm gonna get destroyed! By a single bat! Uh, so, it's a magic staff. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's not necessary to finish a dungeon. M it might be... odd to learn. It throws the same beam that the wizard does. The wizards, though, uh, are immune to their magic waves. Uh, so, unfortunately, it's not like you can use it in this dungeon. Like, like that's just such a weird decision. But it is giving you a high power deceit thing. It does give you a high power attack uh, that does not cost you any, 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 whoa, any money to use. So, you know, it gives you a very powerful, significant projectile. That's pretty good. It's a bit late, but it's pretty good. All right, well, let's check out the last few rooms. Like, there's probably something going on here. Uh, I don't. I don't need to, ugh. I mean, am I, am I really gonna put myself at risk with everything that's here? Looks like it. It looks like it. Looks like that's something I am deciding to do on purpose. Ugh. However, I do believe that the wands do work on the like likes. Okay, and I mean, the like likes do get pushed back when you sword them. I might just die, and honestly, if I die, like, do I not just leave? Like, I don't need to be doing this. I'm just curious. Yeah, like, if you choose to use this instead, like, they will be affected. And, uh, so, you know, I guess... Like, it doesn't kill them outright, so one, two, three... So they have the same strength as the big sword. So in theory, if you haven't found the magic sword yet, there are secrets where fairies don't live! This is an important hint. Uh, so yeah, if you don't have the diagonal sword, then the wand can be your most powerful weapon. Uh, it's just, it's a bit unwieldy, cause, uh, see, see, like, you can only have one wave that exists at a time. And, uh, if you don't got a wave, you don't got the play. I said that. Alright, this looks to be like the la- Whoa, I don't know, I think it's weaker, it might be white sword strength. Yeah, cause it does kill one of those, cause I hit that guy, so I'm assuming, I, I guess I must have sliced the other pancake pile. Alright. More importantly, uh, you know, while you are in curse, you can still wave. Like, they only keep you from sorting. And there you go! That's the entirety of this dungeon. Cleared for real. I did it. <laughs> I mean, to get out easily, the trick would be to, uh, 
up and start on the controller, too, but I don't have that set up right now, so I might just die here. That's fine. Take that. Is this- ah, uh, and this is where I die. That's fine, honestly. Like, I was just working my way through the thing, so it's all good. Next time, um... Yeah, so, like, we've got everything on the overworld. Next time, we're basically going straight to Dungeon 7, and then we're gonna enter Dungeon 7, and we're gonna do something about Dungeon 7. But yes, Northwest Southwest! Somewhere the game tells you about it. I didn't just pick that up, but I do not remember where. If anyone wants to write that down somewhere in the comments or otherwise, thank you! <laughs>